Hungry. Hello everyone, it's your girl Nani Marie and you're tuned in to Dress for Music. I hope everyone had an amazing week. I definitely did. It was my birthday this past Saturday, so I want to give a special shout out to all my homegirls who made my birthday very special. Uh, we decided to cut the guys out of the equation this year and we partied at an undisclosed location uptown so big shout out to all my best girlfriends who made my birthday special i appreciate you and i love you as well if you have a birthday today or if your birthday is this week all my aries babies hit me up on twitter at dress for music or at i am nani marie and i'll give you a special birthday shout out on the air call us up 845-362-0013 get your shout outs in get your requests in or if you want to just talk to me on the internet or ooh, if you want to talk to me on air i will put you on the air i'm feeling great tonight i'm in a pretty good mood tonight so if you're listening on the dial right now you can also check us out on the internet uh log on to wrcr.com click that listen live button in the top right hand corner or you can download the live 365 radio app on your smartphone keyword 1300 rockland i have an amazing show for everyone tonight i have uh, an artist by the name of torch calling up he's signed to Maybach music so we're going to be chopping it up with him in just a few moments big shout out to torch um counting down this week's top five news stories there's a lot to talk about we can talk about diddy and his new tv network uh chris brown and rihanna blah 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 i'm not gonna spend too much time on them but okay so is your girl nani marie wrcr.com dress for music keep it locked Gotta work, slight work, light work, detail, slight work. Yep, no, all right, it's your girl Nani Marie. If you're tuning in, you are tuned in to Dress for Music on WRCR. Listen to us live on the internet, WRCR.com. Click that Listen Live button in the top right-hand corner of your screen. Or you can download the Live 365 radio app on your smartphone. Keyword, 1300 Rockland. So, I have a very, 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 very special guest on the phone right now. He goes by the name of Torch, and he signs yeah. to Maybach Music. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, man. I'm great, man. God is good. How you doing? I'm, I'm good. I'm in a great mood today, man. I'm feeling good that you're on the show. That's what's I'm up. I'm feeling great that you have me, man. <laughs> so, I heard you just got off the plane. Where are you right now? Yeah, I just got off the plane, man. I'm down here All-Star Weekend, you know, with the rest of the stars. The CD come out tomorrow, so it's only right that I had to release it, you know what I'm saying, on All-Star Weekend. Oh, man, yeah. All right, so you're just going to party down there tonight? For the weekend? Oh, yeah. Tonight tonight is the tonight. I get to relax and do go have fun, but the rest of the weekend I'm working hard, you know what I mean? C D come out tomorrow, couple shows, we doing a show in like every club out here that's open. We working. That's Grind crazy. I like to hear that. That's what's up. So, mixtape comes out tomorrow, UFO two. What can we yes, expect man. from it? Who's who's on the mixtape? Uh, uh, uh you can expect another classic. <laughs> Volume one was, you know, critically acclaimed. Self, uh, classic MTV, everybody picked it up. You know what I'm saying? Volume 2 is going to be more the same. You know what I mean? I got uh, Jim Jones on that bottle. Of course, the whole MMG checked in Wale, Meek Mills, uh, Triple C, Stanley. You know what I'm saying? I got a, a Matt Pike Miles on that thing. Range, Teach Moses. You know, it's star studded. Mm -hmm. I think I, I wanted to say it's my best body of work so far. So if y'all like volume one, you're going to love volume two. So it drops tomorrow, and where can the people find it? Oh, you can find it anywhere. Anywhere. You under your bed, it might be there right now. <laughs> under the pillow, torch the, the tooth pillow, fairy, like the, the tooth, tooth fairy, fairy leave, <laughs> leaving mixtapes under the pillow. I like <laughs> yeah, that. You don't have the headphones on, dropping it off tomorrow. Everybody need it. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so you're from the Bronx, correct? Yes. Yeah. So how how Castle does it Hill project. Castle Hill? I'm actually from um, Kingsbridge. You know he, he nice. yeah. Oh, my Fordham area. Yeah. Okay. All right. Enough of that. Enough of that. So <laughs> how, how does it feel right now to be a New York rapper? And everyone was saying hip hop was dead in New York. This and that. All this this crap. But you're part of a huge movement like the rejuvenation of New York and the Bronx and bringing hip hop hip hop back to the Bronx. Like how does that make you feel? 
Oh, it makes me feel great because you know at the end of the day, if they ain't hating on you, you ain't doing nothing right. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like when they said that hip hop was dead or New York was dead. I'm not even gonna say it was dead because it had some it had some validity to it even to this moment because of the brand of music that New York artists be trying to make. You know what I'm saying? Just to be yeah. able to get get that airplay that we need to be successful, but. At the end of the day, there's so many people doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the people that's doing their thing. The Fred, Fred the God, French Montana, Mano, you know, all the New York artists, Uncle Murder, everybody doing their thing up here. You know what I'm saying? It's just a great feeling that I'm a part of that that class of people that's trying to put New York where we deserve to be. Yes, you are. That's a very good look. So do people recognize you in the Bronx when you walk around? People ask you for autographs, yeah. pictures, all that? I mean, you know, New York is the home of the arrogance. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? They could know you and be staring at you and still won't say nothing to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they don't but care. It's, it's a beautiful thing, you know what I'm saying? They they recognize me. They know who I am. But most people, you know what I'm saying, because of, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, my persona, whatever the case may be, and the, the, the shady folks I be around with the very checkered criminal history um, sometimes I'm not very uh, approachable but you know what I'm saying it's all love you show me love I definitely show it back you know what I mean alright I feel you on that so how did you How first of all how long have you been grinding in the music industry for before you got signed how long were you working Oh, I feel like it was all my life, you know, that yeah, coming from New York, you know, everybody from New York feel like we got some form of musical talent or something of that nature. So it's kind of like I was just, you know, what I'm saying grinding. I started out in the project hallway in the staircases, banging on walls, school banging on tables, ciphers and all that. And, you know, what I'm saying just elevated to a to one of the few people in the Bronx with a with a deal. Yeah, that that is that's a major congratulations, man. That's a major accomplishment. No, I mean these these rappers out here, they don't understand the, how how hard and how long you have to work and to finally get recognized. It's crazy. It is crazy. Um, so when did you link up with uh, Maybach Music Group, and how did you come about that connection? Well, I've been with Maybach from the conception of Maybach before Maybach was a Maybach you know when Maybach was a Honda I was down with Maybach you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying before the deals Ross and the projects with me in Castle Hill that's my son's godfather so we go back a long way you know what I mean I when it was just a dream I was probably on one of the first songs that he ever recorded and you know what I'm saying it was it's, it's a beautiful thing you know what I mean see, to see where we came from to see where we at right now it's unbelievable actually how does your family feel about you coming up and being signed and all that? Super proud? I mean, you know, they're going to always be super proud because I could be on somebody's corner right now wreaking havoc. <laughs> so it's kind of like to see, to see where I'm at with it. You know what I'm saying? They could do nothing but smile and realize that I'm living out my dreams and, and being successful at what I love to do. When you're doing what you love to do, then you'll never have a job, right? Yeah, basically, I feel you on that. So, when's the next show in New York? You got anything coming up? Um, the next one, I actually just did one last night on First and First at a club called First and First downtown, like right in the, in the middle of Brooklyn and Manhattan. Mm -hmm. But I think we got a couple more coming up. I'm actually performing next Thursday at Club Eleven in the Bronx. Oh, I'm there. Oh no, I can't. Well, what what time? What time? You think like later? Because my show is from nine to ten. And I want to come oh, through. Man, you good to go. I don't even get to the club till one or two. Oh, okay. All right, bet. I'm in there. We're going to party. Come through. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Every Thursday is Maybach Thursdays. That's my situation. That's my club. I run that on Thursdays. You know what I'm saying? We in there. Come party with your boy, man. Come, come have a few drinks on me. Oh, how about on me? On me. Drinks on me. Hey, hey even better, right? It floats your boat. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy the drinks and put them right next to the bottle. All right, well, all right that works. That works. <laughs> all right, so are you performing uh, uh, joints off the new mixtape now? Is yeah. that what you know, I just perform. I just perform. I like to perform. So once I get the ball rolling, it all it's all about the energy of the crowd. When I, I feed off the energy, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yo, so uh, I so go back, they start requesting stuff, I just start going, you know what I mean? Okay, how, all right. Um, so I was listening to that Grind 24 record. It was forwarded to me like an hour before the show. They were like, yo, you gotta, you gotta put this on the air. Because I was going to play your other one, Slow Down. 
Mm-hmm. And then I heard this one. Big Mac All Stars. Yeah. Slow down. You got Uptown featuring Jim Joe. We got records, baby. We trying to we trying to do big things and, and put the Bronx where we need to be at, man. Mm-hmm. I don't think they really understand the movements that we be making. No, they're gonna understand when they hear this mixtape tomorrow. Nah, definitely. They <laughs> really will. They're gonna understand. They're gonna understand right when I play this record right after this interview too. They're. <laughs> They will understand, Torch. All right. Well, that's really all the time that I have for you tonight. But um. All right. Well, you know, I'm on deck anytime you need me. Definitely, and I definitely want to try to check you next Thursday. I want to see. I want to see that live performance, man. That's no, definitely. Bring bring the cameras. Yeah. I'll take a couple. Even if it's the camera phone. <laughs> the camera phone. All right, man. I appreciate you calling in. Stay on the line, real quick. All right. Thank you, Torch. Right. I appreciate it. Take care. No problem. All right. All right. Now it's time for 90s Pick of the Week tonight. Yes, it is. And, of course, I got this uh, exclusive record from Torch. It was forwarded to me about an hour ago. Shout out to the homie William Gone. He sent it to me. I listened to it. I was like, oh, my God. I got to play this record. It's crazy. It's called Grind 24. It's off that new Torch mixtape, UFO 2, which drops tomorrow. It's featuring Rick Ross. It's your girl, Nani Marie, just for music. Keep it locked.